Stand just like a statue, just like you, acting like the sky's just about to Hello everybody, welcome back, Nintendo here, and today we're going to be talking about the new addition to the Switch family, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, this was announced back in July, but before I get into that, recently Nintendo has been putting some newer Switch models into stores, and from what I've heard, these newer models have like brighter screens and like a better battery life. Now, how can you distinguish between the older models and the newer models? Well, if you go into your local whatever store is more prominent in your area, like a Target or a Walmart, you can see them in these newly resigned, resigned, <laughs> I'm not, the box ain't leaving the store dude if you see them in these newly designed red boxes which in my opinion you look cool but i favored the original box better now let's get into the main topic of the video the switch light now what is the difference between the switch light and the original switch well the main difference is of course that the joy cons are actually attached to the console and you cannot detach them and another difference is that you cannot even dock the switch on the tv at all this console is primarily focused on handheld play. Like you see my TV back there, it's always on Twitch. Literally, you cannot hook it up to that at all. Literally, you have to play this console in handheld mode, which again, as I said, is the main focus of this console. Now, you can get the Switch Lite in many colors. You can get in gray, yellow, turquoise. Now, if I could get one, I would definitely get one in yellow because it's it's a, it's a really bright console. <laughs> now, the other main difference is the price of the console. Now, the original Switch was like $300 when it first came out, but the Switch Lite is actually $200 which is basically $100 cheaper, but in my opinion, it's a pretty good price. Now, since we got all that out of the way, what is my opinion of this console? Now, the great things about this console is that it's a cheaper alternative. Now, of course, there's many people who say, oh, it's a bad idea, it's not needed. Well, in my opinion, I think it's great to have a cheaper alternative of a console. Like, for example, like the original DS, even though I wasn't around in that era, like, all I know is that probably the Switch, not the Switch Lite, the DS Lite was probably a cheaper alternative to the original DS. Now, another thing is, like, there's people out there in the world who probably cannot even afford the original Switch. So, like, for people who have less money, they could literally buy the Switch Lite and, like, not have to spend, like, that $100 just to get literally <laughs> take offable Joy-Cons. Now, another reason I like this console is that it's portability. Now, I understand the Switch is also a portable console, but with the Switch Lite, it's a smaller little, it's a smaller console and it's way more portable. Like, literally... I will not have, like, for example, when I went to New York, I brought my Switch with me. I literally had to bring the dock, and I had to bring, like, like, I have the dock. You can't carry a big brick in the back of your pants all the time. So, I think, overall, the Switch Lite's good because it's small and compact. You can literally carry with you anywhere. Also, another cool thing about this console, it actually has a D-pad. Like, the original Switch has, like, these weird arrow. It's like the N64 controller with the arrow buttons. But, if you want to play games such as, like, New Super Mario Bros. D, I almost said New Super Mario Bros. DS. New Super Mario Bros. U or Mario Maker, honestly, the Switch Lite will be perfect for you. Now, of course, as I said in the beginning of the video, I think at some point, um, the Switch Lite does not have motion control. So, if you don't, if you want to play 1-2 Switch, then I'm very sorry. Now, if you saw my commentary video about the 3DS sadly being non-existent, I mentioned this in the video. But hey, we may never know what Nintendo can do. Like, they could do something crazy for the 3DS, but hey... Only time will tell. Now, yes, I did mention that they could have done something crazy for the 3DS, but hey, at least they did something, which honestly, indeed they did. <laughs> and plus, to be honest with you, now, I just get, now, yes, I did mention earlier about, like, the DS and then the DS Lite, about how they're both, like, different model DSs, but honestly, I'm getting a lot of, like, Nintendo DS Lite vibes from this console. Now, it could be nostalgia hitting me because of the word Lite being used in the title of the console, but honestly... I don't even know. Now, the main question is, would I buy this console? Now, I already have an original Switch, which I love to death. So honestly, it wouldn't make sense to have like two Switches, unless if you're one of those like homebrew freaks who are like, ooh, I wanna 
hack my switch so i can play some hungry punk then <laughs> but honestly like i would probably buy like the switch light for like a friend for like christmas or like a birthday gift honestly so honestly there's nothing really wrong with it well actually as i'm recording this currently on september 25th because this video is coming out in October, probably. Um, the Switch Lite's already out, as you already know. Um, apparently, there's, like, one thing wrong with it. Apparently, the control sticks in the console are from original Switches. And if you guys know, the Switch Joy-Cons have drifting problems. And apparently, they're, they're drifting problems in the Switch Lite. And, well, more people are worried about that. But apparently, if I post the thing on screen, apparently someone broke their joystick already on the console. So... Nintendo, please, if you're, well, they're obviously not listening to this, but please, if you're seeing that, please make an updated model of the Switch Lite and have, make it have like a better joystick, please. Now, when this video comes out, it's going to be in October, as I previously mentioned. So this console will be out already. And, but listen, I know this topic's probably gonna be like irrelevant as soon as the video comes out, but listen, I can talk about my opinions if I want to. This is the commentary series. And the motto of this series is, I can talk about whatever I fucking want, okay? Like literally, I could talk about freaking, what's the topic? Uh, uh, I can't think of what. But case in point, I can talk about whatever I want. Now, listen, if you do not have a Switch, I really recommend getting a Switch Lite. But once they fix that little Joy-Con, or not Joy-Con, well, if there's any drifting in it, which I haven't really seen yet of, but if there possibly is, then I'll wait until they make, like, a newer Switch Lite model. But, listen, I would definitely go for it. Please buy a Switch Lite. And, anyways, that is all for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And, guys, please join my Discord server. It is in the link down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.